It's, it's of course, uh, the way you do that internally in terms of assessing the risk and uh, trying to underwrite the right price against the level of risk. So it's, uh, I think I would say, the traditional part of the investment uh, job. But beyond that, and especially with real estate, uh, we have to really, uh, it's a big responsibility to, to, to design the communities of tomorrow. And it's where resiliency is a lot about having uh, a purpose and doing things which are meaningful. And it's something which is very key to my heart is really to what I call the uh, real estate solution or solution in real estate. And it's, it, and it's probably different from what we used to do in this industry when we used to, to, to say build and they will come. Now we have to really build something which is going to make sense in the community. And that's the best way to be both sustainable and resilient. And then to fulfill the purpose of uh, CDPQ, which is of course the same as uh, Cassandra uh, described for uh, her own company, is really to um, design a profitable scheme which is going to be um, for the benefit of our uh, um, retirees, the six million Quebecers that we are working for, not only tomorrow, but in five, 10 and 15 years far beyond the management of the company. So it's, uh, it, it's really the way I'm looking at that and of the fact that, again, um, the, um, the real estate is very uh, structural in the way you build a world and it could be also a solution to the uh, big social divide that we see in many countries uh, right now, which is, I think, a, a big part of the dialogue and the transition that you are referring to to this panel. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersecci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.